to all of you Mortal Kombat fanatics, you guys that live and breathe Mortal Kombat the game and love the original movie, I am begging you, do not hate on this movie. It is crucial that you don't and I will explain to you why, so stick around. Before we start, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also go ahead and like this video. Uh, like I always tell you guys, if in, in order for me to grow my channel, I need your support and if you, do, if you do those two things, that'll help out so much. So I always appreciate it, thank you so much. So hear me out, this is why it's crucial that you guys do not hate on the movie. Now I know that the movie is a little bit different than what we want to see, what true fans want to see. It deviated a little bit from the source material. However, clearly the filmmakers are thinking ahead. They made a movie that has an ending that will lead to what we want to see. There was no tournament in this movie, which, which I was shocked and I'll get to that later. But clearly this movie is setting up everything that will happen next, which is the tournament, uh, probably uh, Outworld uh, invading Earthrealm. So all of this is probably in the works. That's why they gave us that little tease with Johnny Cage. So in order for us and for the filmmakers to give us what comes next, we need to support this movie. So I know that it might be different than what we hoped, but it was still a decent movie. It was good. They didn't have a big budget and they did the best they could with that budget. And honestly, I enjoyed the movie a lot and I wanna see what comes next. So it's up to us to show support and show to the studio that this movie is good enough and that we liked it enough for them to keep making sequels. From what they've told us and what um, the actor that played, I think Joe Taslin that played Sub-Zero, he kind of let us know that he signed on for a four movie deal. That, that probably means a trilogy or more movies, maybe a sequel, maybe a prequel, uh, spin-offs. So it's in the works. They're thinking about what comes next, but that will not happen if we don't support it and make this movie a success. So do your part, because I want to see what comes next. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump really quick to this review. Now, the first thing I want to say is, I am a huge Mortal Kombat fan. I love the games, play them all the time. I actually adore uh, the first Mortal Kombat movie, Mortal Kombat 2, Annihilation, we don't even talk about that one. But I'm a huge fan, so I live and breathe these characters and these storylines. I was looking forward for this movie for years. I've been following the whole production process for so long. So I was one of those people that at 12 o'clock at midnight, I was playing I was playing the movie. And I think I watched it like two times last night. That, that's how obsessed I am. So with that said, did I love the movie? Was I blown away? Was it the Mortal Kombat that I wanted? Was, was it like, oh my God, this is so good? No. Did I hate the movie? No. Did I have a ton of fun watching the movie? Absolutely. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Go watch it. I'm telling you. Did they make changes to the original uh, source material? Yes, they did. But I think it's changes that a lot of them we can support and accept and go with it. Other ones, they were okay. But I think is a good path for the movie to go. So I cannot wait for what comes next, but it's, like I said, it's up to us to support the movie and hopefully they'll keep making more. So let's start with what I liked. The reason why I enjoyed the movie and had fun is because even though they made some changes, which a lot of people will, will probably not like, and from the people that I've talked to right now, it's very 50-50. People either love it or people hate it. Now, the people that are hating on it, they're, they're being too critical. And usually I'm very critical, but I don't want to be critical about this because there's so much potential with what they gave us and what can come next can be amazing. So that's why I'm choosing to support it and go along with it. But the reason why I like the movie is because despite of the changes, the essence of Mortal Kombat, it was captured. And I think the magic of why the essence was captured is because even though they made changes, they were true to each character. Every character, their personality, their powers, their just the way they are, they were very true to the characters. 
and I think that's why I like the movie so much. Now, another reason why I like the movie, and it's probably something that people always complain about the older movies, is that in the old movies, there was no gore. And from the moment that we got Mortal Kombat, the first game, what made that game so special and stand out was obviously the violence, you know? That game is the reason they have now a system to rate games if it's too violent or not. That's the game that started it. So obviously the movies need to have the gore. Now, does the movie have it? Absolutely. Was it over the top? No, and I'm glad it wasn't because Mortal Kombat is not just about violence. It's a good balance between humor and gore. And boy, was there a lot of humor and also gore. The balance was perfect. So again, they really captured that essence of what Mortal Kombat is. Now, another reason why I really like the movie, and it's it's the one thing I was super concerned uh, going into the movie, was the special effects. And I gotta tell you, the VFX team did a great job. I would say 99% of the time, the VFX looked great. Everything Sub-Zero did looked beautiful, looked very uh, uh, in touch with that character. Um, they did a really good job. Even Goro um, looked phenomenal. And something that is interesting about the movie is that when the trailer came out, everything that people hated about the, or complained about the trailer, the way Goro looked, uh, Cole Young, Melina and her mouth and her teeth, Kano not being too strong and muscular, uh, the way Reptile looked. People hated everything about those things in the trailer. And when you see the movie, those are the best things. It's almost like in the trailer, they either changed the effects to not give us too much, and then in the movie, it looked phenomenal. Now the story, the story is very interesting because we are led to believe that because it's Mortal Kombat, this movie, we're gonna have the Mortal Kombat tournament. And we did it. <laughs> Halfway through the movie, um, we're nowhere near to being in a tournament, and I'm like, what's going on? Like, are we gonna get to see a tournament? Um, and no, we never do, which it's scary because obviously they're leaving the Mortal Kombat tournament for a sequel, um, and I think if they're doing what I think they're doing, the tournament will not happen until a possible part three. And I'll get to why I think it'll be in part three later. But that part of the story, I was a little bit confused throughout. But at the end, I was like, I'm so happy they did that. I'm so happy they didn't give us a tournament because it actually everything that happens in this movie sets up what will come next and sets up the characters to have more development and more personality during the tournament. So not having the uh, tournament in this one, it makes all of the villains cheating motherfuckers because they literally tried to kill all of the Earth Realm champions even before the tournament happened. So it makes them even more of the villains, and I like that. And then the fact that the heroes had to fight them off before the tournament, it's even better because now when they go to the tournament, they already know each other, there's already history uh, to the characters, so when they fight, it's gonna be a fight to the death, which in this one it was too, but it just makes those dynamics and those relationships between the villains and the heroes so much better. So in that sense, even though they kind of tricked me into thinking this is Mortal Kombat and the tournament, and I was a little bit like, what? Where's the tournament? Um, in the end, I, that was a good choice. So I completely applaud them for giving us kind of like a prequel to the tournament, and also an origin story to the characters. And I'll get to that in a second. One thing I really liked which is why I'm calling it an origin story, is because in this one, the Earth Realm champions do not have superpowers like in the game. In the trailer, we see Liu Kang with his fireball and doing the dragon, and so we're, we're thinking, oh, they have powers. But obviously, 
I, in real life, humans don't have powers. So how do you explain that? So in the movie, they explain it very simple. You're chosen with that tattoo or, or mark that you get in your, in your body, which only one person has it as a birthmark. Everybody else gets it later in life. When you get that birthmark, that means you're chosen to be a, a, an Earth Realm champion and to fight in the tournament. So they, they are taken to Raiden's uh, temple to train. And during their training, that's when they are not only training, but they're also trying to find within themselves what they call their arcana, which is their powers. And their powers come to them either by being super frustrated when their emotions are very heightened, either very happy, either very sad, either super mad, or they're just like in a moment of tension, that's when it comes out. So that's when Sonya gets her powers, Liu Kang got his that way, Kano got his that way, his laser. So I actually liked that change because it gives us an understanding of how they get their powers instead of just being humans born with powers, which in real life, that would never be the case. All right, so now the things that I did not like. Even though I just told you that I like the idea and the change that in this movie is kind of like a prequel or an origin story and there's no Mortal Kombat tournament anywhere to be seen and that I like that, that's, it's also something I didn't like. And I'll tell you why, hear me out. I don't like it because I feel like the filmmakers are being a little bit cocky and getting ahead of themselves by thinking, oh, we have a whole, you know, uh, uh, we have a whole plan for what the other movies will, will be about and the tournament is coming. However, if this movie is not successful, we won't see that. So why leave out something that you can do today for tomorrow? So they're really risking it and really w hoping that the movie is successful so they can do more sequels and you know all those stories coming up uh coming up next like the tournament and all the other characters that will come up so that is something that even though i i like the idea of no tournament i'm also concerned that they didn't give me that that i wanted to see so bad because what if i never get to see it what if we never get to see it what if the movie gets hate on and all these haters on the internet start trolling and then warner brothers is like we will make more sequels I'll be super bummed. So I feel like filmmakers, when they do a first movie, put it all, put it all because you might not get tomorrow. Now, continuing on the things that I didn't like, um, the things I didn't like are very, it, they're technical things that I didn't like. So I'm, I'm not really criticizing the movie too much. I'm not putting it down. I'm also not gonna get into what characters or actors I like or didn't like. I will do a separate video on that. But the things that I didn't quite like about the movie, number one was the script. And by the script, I mean the development of the story. Uh, it was a little bit patchy. Um, they never really explain a, a few key things. Like, for example, we all know as fans of the game, if you're a fan of the game, we know the history of Sub-Zero and Scorpion, right? The Lin Kuei and the Shirai Ryu. But in the movie, they never really explain why is Sub-Zero so head on on killing Hanzo and his bloodline and the Shirai Ryu. They never really explained that. They didn't have time to develop it, to be honest. So I think it would be cool if they can do a whole nother movie, like a spin-off of a prequel to their story and develop that. But in this movie, they didn't have time to it. So we see them battle in the beginning of the movie and obviously we know that Sub-Zero kills Hanzo, but we don't really know why. He just wants to kill that bloodline. We don't, they never explain that to us. Um, another thing I wasn't a huge uh, fan of is that they never really explained why they get the powers that they get, why the arcana that they get are so individual to them. Why is it a laser from the eye with um, Kano? Why is it like purple rain shooting out of Sonya? Why do they get cool stuff like that? And then Jax's arcana is that 
the the already built in metal arms that he got that look like t-rex arms they get like filled in and more stronger like why that so i wish they would have given us a little bit more but again you know with what what they had uh, i i'm not going to criticize too much i still have fun with it so don't overthink it another miss with the script is the dialogue when they're talking and throwing lines with one another they can sometimes be cheesy. The jokes are kind of cheesy sometimes. Uh, the best jokes come from Kano. A lot of them hit, some of them are a miss, but they're still cool. Um, but the dialogue was a little bit so-so. Uh, the editing was also so-so, especially during the fight sequences. They kind of sometimes seemed a little bit slow. Uh, it is a first time director, Simon McQuaid, so maybe that's why uh, the choreography and the way it was filmed, the fight sequences, wasn't the best. However, I feel like all of us are a little bit spoiled because we know what action fight movies can be after we see all of the John Wick, uh, John Wick movies, right? So these days, if you're going to do a fight movie like Mortal Kombat, which is a lot of fighting, you better come with your A game with fight sequences that are similar or just as good as John Wick, because that's what we're expecting. So this movie, for being uh, a fight movie, the choreography of the fights and the way it was filmed, it was okay. Now, people will say, Oh, these actors, they were terrible fighters and blah, 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 blah. They're not trained fighters. They're normal human beings like you and I that got picked to, to do a movie and they train for, I don't know, a month, two months, maybe three months, a little bit in, in fighting to be able to do the movie. So I'm not going to criticize the movie too much for those things. I'm just mentioning some of the things that weren't great, but they do not, it's not a deal breaker for the movie. So just, you know, get that, you know, understand that i'm not trying to put it down i'm just you know picking a few things to give you some negatives so in conclusion uh as you can see i really like the movie and i hope you guys do too like i said in the beginning please support the movie because we are going to get more good stuff if we love the movie and show that support so don't hate on it okay in fact i love the movie so much and i liked it so much i'm gonna go watch it again right now so i gotta go but as always thank you for sticking around and watching my videos please subscribe please like comment below did you like the movie did you hate it what characters did you like i'll make a separate video on all my favorite characters and all the ones that i hated that's going to be coming soon so again guys thank you so much and i will see you soon bye bye